Hello everyone and welcome to the Apex Online Racing channel back for the Assetto Corsa PC League here um, for another live stream for round number 9 of the season this is the penultimate round of the season and after we've been absent for uh, round number 8 we are in here through a, for a thrilling 2 races, 2 sprint races here tonight because we are gonna maybe witness to crown a new champion in, in this particular season. I am Ycoms and unfortunately uh, my co-commentator Phil is not here tonight. I will just do a solo comment uh, commentary here today and uh, I hope, uh, well, I will be um, suitable for that. It's not the first time uh, um, we had to do that, but uh, yeah, um, obviously with so much hype around this penultimate round i think i will be quite fine i think the drivers will be too uh, before we go though into this penultimate round of the season let's have a look at what happened uh, at uh, round number eight which was um last year you can actually uh, quickly have a look at the calendar here uh, at the moment so we were at suzuka last time uh, uh, two weeks ago when we uh, when uh, this uh, league was broadcast with the endurance race and now we had the Red Bull ring with two sprint races uh, last time out. And from these two races, you can see the results here. Uh, so the first race went to Echo. That was the second race of. Uh, that was the second. Uh, that was the second win of the season, in fact. So the rookie doing very, very well, as we um, saw in. Uh, previous coverages as well. Then Fizzy keeping his championship uh, championship hopes alive against Keith Camilleri, his championship rival, who only finished ninth in that particular race. Remember, Keith was considerably ahead uh, ahead of these uh, ahead of these two uh, races at the Red Bull Ring. Then Evan or Erty one for seven in a very very strong third position uh, back then in third. Then a Silver Arrow Nostra Nick Mido, who's made a charge through this uh, championship. Uh, in the last couple of rounds in sixth, then David Siska makes that Keith Caminari, as we said before, and Sansuke in the top 10 as well. And then with the top 15 reversed, obviously, for the second race, we had a new winner in this league, Quinton for Condor RC, um, RCL, uh, RSL Competition, winning his first ever race. And it was Keith Camilleri who actually got second place, so a very, very crucial, um, uh, crucial, um, well, so crucial podium them for, for Keith to get his uh, championship under the belt. But I can assure you he's not the champion yet, but it's very, very close. We will have a look at the uh, points uh, at the moment very, very shortly. Then Nick Mido got third, very, very close, actually, all the way down to Mixta in ninth. Pox, second Condor car in fourth, then Dazzy, Oz, Terence, Gretsch. Vernox, a new driver in the league, but obviously uh, known especially on Project Cars. Uh, on the Project Cars PC GT3 Elite League, also here on Apex Online Racing, David Siska, Mixta, and Fizzy in the top 10 as well. So he has lost uh, all those points he recover uh, he got in that first uh, race against Keith. He lost all that again. So basically, the gap between the two did not change too much after round number seven. So let's have a look at what happened, uh, how the championship uh, looks like. And we can see Keith Camilleri from GT Omega RPM Esports leading over Fizzy Fan 91. 162 points, the gap now. Now remember, you can give, uh, you can, uh, there is um, 200 points maximum up for grabs um, uh, still in the season. 50 for a race victory here today. So that means if Keith Camilleri finishes on the podium and Fizzy wins, he will win. Keith will win the championship here today, uh, here after the first sprint race here uh, already. But I will talk a little bit through this uh, in the race as well. We can see Quinton jumped up into third, Nick Mido up into fourth position now. So crazy for him. David David Siska into fifth. Um, that Sansuka dropping it down a little bit. Jeff Bernard Vela, Silver Arrow, and Terence Gretsch rounding up that top ten. And you can see P11 220 right there. Tom Bridle and Non Runner, especially those who dropped a little bit down. All the others, I don't know how they moved uh, in the last two weeks because I only had the standings from a P. Well, I only made the standings from P1 to 10 um, uh, two weeks ago. So. Yeah, I don't know the exact um, uh, movements here in the top 20, but uh, for example, someone like Evan definitely um, gained quite a lot of positions with his uh, third place last week. 
So let's have a look at the team championship in here as well. Today, GT Omega RPM Esports could seal the championship. They're leading by almost over 400 points, 380 over Monster AMG Racing, which can, is the team of um, uh, David Siska and Nick Mido. Uh, who are pretty high up in the championship as well. Then Stark Industries, the team of Fizzy, and uh, basically the only movement really in the top is Grey Goose, who jumped Team Suomi, and Neon Racing, and Hoonigan, uh, Hoonigan won, getting into the top 10 for, well, after quite an absence for, um, well, some parts of the season, really. Then Clean Racing Group, AJK, Monster AMG Racing, Royal Brew Racing, and WhatsApp Racing. All of the teams scoring more than 100 points this season, and... 12 out of the 14 po uh, people um, scoring more than 300 points. So that's very, very impressive and shows just how close this cha uh, this well this championship is in the midfield. I mean, up front, 380 points of a gap. Poof. So, well, I mean, yeah, I, I would say the team championship is pretty much sealed for GT, uh, GT Omega RPM Esports. They don't need to do too much of an effort here today to uh, do that. And uh, for Keith, it will be as well very, 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 um, uh, it's looking very good for him. Just need to keep it clean, have two clean races. If he has one clean race, it is uh, maybe today, um, maybe after the first race, but definitely after the second race. Because if Fizzy wants to keep this championship alive, he needs to gain over 60 points here today. Which means basically, um, well, basically that, that would mean, well... Um, Keith would only score about 20, uh, 40 points, so 20 points per race. So basically, he would not even get a top 10 finish here today. And that's something we have not seen from Keith here at all. But let's have a look then at round number one, at the penultimate round of the season. We are here today at Imola. Not the first time we've been here this season. Um, it's gonna be a very very fun race, so let's jump straight onto the track um, uh, and have a look at the drivers who are just about to start qualifying. I am trying my absolute best here to find someone on the track. If someone is already on the track, just go, gonna grow, screw of go through this grid here. There we go. Prox and Joker on uh, their respective outlaps uh, as well obviously we saw joker um uh, in the previous rounds as well one of the newer guys as well <laughs> obviously we, we know him quite well from uh, other uh, things uh, in aor so uh, definitely wants to uh, get some good positions here and fox obviously who got uh, you had some decent results this season some were not that uh, well uh, some were not that good to be honest but we'll see how it goes and uh, let's get this sound on then to see, to uh, to hear also what the drivers are actually doing on the track. And uh, there we go. So we are on board with Fox on this outlap. I think uh, the man of the practice session, as far as I'm aware, uh, if I uh, notice it correctly, was Sansuke uh, with a 144.7. But uh, I'm not quite sure anymore. I think that was the fastest time of the practice. So 140, well, high 44s could be expected for pole position. But let's go on board with Fox. Round a lap at Imola. I think many of you know this track. A very, very famous track. And a very cool track for every kind of car, I would say. And especially for these kind of cars as well. So uh, Fox st starting his lap down the start. Finish track. A little bit of curved here towards the end of this... Uh, home straight breaking hard into this um, left right left uh, combination trying to get as close to these uh, sausage curbs or these uh, black sausage curbs there uh, on the inside Fox rather cautious now into this chicane here trying to keep a clip the um, both of the curbs as much as possible trying to ke um, keep the car as straight as possible with a good exit then now into this hairpin it's gonna be very very tricky corner because it's a, a very very off camber in these kind of cars as well and uh, an exit out of here is very, very crucial because we're now going up the hill and uh, now into this uh, left-hander, which is also very, very fast, but it's also very easy to run right here on the exit. Now we go down the hill into this very unique double right-hander, down the hill, already breaking on the first apex, very tricky breaking point into the sec second apex, accelerating here onto the curb again, and now into the very, very tight chicane 
trying to take as much curve as possible, trying to break as late as possible here for Pox, but he's not taking too much curve here. We've seen it, I've seen it a bit more in the practice session, to be honest. Again, exit is very, very crucial. And now we're going down the hill to the final two corners. Again, very, very tricky breaking zone here down the hill. One of the opportunities to overtake her later on in the race, and you can see Box missing his apex there on the penultimate corner. Coming around the final corner now, this is not quite flat out. There has been a cautious lap from Box. Let's see what he can do. Uh, just uh, to remember, 144s. Maybe we will see that from the top guys. And Fox goes, uh, sets a lap of a 145.7. And I think that's actually quite decent, to be honest. As uh, his teammate um, uh, goes second for the moment. Joker, come on, there we go. And uh, there was another car, I think, still. There we go. Keith Camilleri is coming across the line, is he? Uh, no, he's not. Oh, he actually is. Okay, that was actually the championship leader. Apologies that I did actually miss that in this first qualifying group. Uh, Keith Camilleri goes provisional pole position. Next group, we've got Heinze. Uh, we had Dazzy Oz and we saw some other drivers, which we will cover at the end of this lap. We are uh, we're here with uh, Dazzy Oz. So we've got actually a top 10 finish last week. So... Someone definitely who has also been showing some good results here and there uh, in this season. He was a little bit, um, it seemed like he was a little bit um, cautious here into the first couple of corners. And it didn't seem to uh, really, you know, um, um, approach the corner like uh, on the outside there in turn one. Now coming into the hairpin. How does it happen again? So let's see who who we have as well in this qualifying session. We uh, in this qualifying session in this group in this qualifying session group. Heinze and her dangerous Janetta and Terence Scratch. Terence Scratch has been very very solid to be honest uh, in the last couple of uh, races, especially round eight. It seemed like jumped up into the top ten for the first time this season in the championship and helping. Uh, well. Helping out GT Omega RPM Esports quite a lot, really. I mean, all of them have been having top results at one stage of the uh, season. Brandon v uh, uh, Bernard Vela, we saw, uh, we obviously know. Um, uh, we also know Brandon Tabone, who's been here for a couple of races. And obviously, Keith Camilleri, the championship leader, getting uh, not even half of the points, though, for his team, which has been uh, actually. Well, actually, for, for Monster Energy Racing, has been pretty, pretty split up as well between the two uh, main drivers of um, uh, Nick Mido and David Siska. But uh, for Stark Industries, pretty much, it has been all fizzy, really, with, the, with his consistency. And uh, Matt and, uh, and Evan, uh, occasionally, I would say. And uh, now we can see Dazzy Oz going up into third position for the moment. Five and a half tenths off Keith Camilleri. I think the times will considerably drop, really. And uh, they, and Heinze coming uh, down into fifth at the moment. That's currently last position. But as we know, normally people are also sometimes not even setting a lap. So let's see. David Siska. Uh, David Siska. Dangerous Janetta coming across the line. Terence Gretsch coming across the line. And that is that group also done. So let's have a look then. Oh, actually... So we've got Nostra ooh, coming around the penalty. We're going to take a lot of curb there. And we've got Echo. We've got Logger. Hmm, that's a new guy as well. I did not know him before. So that's interesting to see. So all PCDC cars on the track currently. Echo, Logger and Meeksta. But I'm definitely like very, very um, um, curious about Echo. Actually, Nostra now crossed the line. He was actually very um, late in that qualifying group, it seemed like. He jumps up with the fifth, just behind uh, Terence Gretsch. But I want to go on board with Echo, because Echo was very fast in this practice session as well. And he was the one, he was, oh, he's won the last um, uh, sprint race. Um, uh, also, I'm not sure if it was from pole position, but he at least won that particular first race. So he seems very, very fast these couple of, the last couple of weeks, does Echo. Uh, we're gonna try to follow him here for this particular lap. Now coming into turn one again after the 100 meter board. Down into 
the f yeah, third gamer it was, he's taking much more curb than Prox for example, and Prox obviously not too far um, behind Keith Camilleri, so if we can see that uh, Echo is going to take much more aggressive lines than Prox, he should be able to be a bit better on the way, seems like at that moment very very tidy, now this happened, very 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 crucial, Ooh, interesting line about Echo, trying to open it up as much as possible, not even trying to hit the apex, and uh, just launching the car out of there, probably got him a little bit of a better exit, but I'm not sure if that was the actual quickest line through there. A bit too much carbon baby on the inside there, but managed to not run the car too wide. And his double right-hander again, very, very tricky to handle. He was very cautious through there, I have to say. He's still getting a good exit now into the chicken. Now I'm very, very curious what he's going to do compared to what we have seen from Prox before. A little bit, yeah, you can see bouncing a little bit more of the curbs than uh, Prox does. I think if we can keep this lap together until the end, I think he might be in a good shot here to take provisional pole position, does Echo. Into the penultimate corner, nice apex there as well. Into the final corner, taking a lot of curb there on the inside again, a little bit on the outside. And that is Echo coming around the final corner to complete his qualifying lap. And I'm pretty sure we're going to see a new provisional pole position here. <coughs> Sorry, and uh, yes we do, but not by much, only less than a tenth, I think that, I, well, no, I miscalculated probably that a little bit, because I expected him to do a little bit better maybe, so let's see what Logger can do, he goes ninth for the moment, so that could have been better for him as well, and now this qualifying group is interesting. Mixta will come across the line very, very shortly. We're gonna, uh, though, concentrate on these two protagonists here, Fizzy and Nick Mido. This is not only Fizzy trying to stay alive in the, in the Drivers' Championship for P1, but this is also could develop into a way, into a well thought, a thought battle between Fizzy, Quintin, and Nick Mido, and especially Nick Mido has been charging through the championship in the last couple of weeks. He has been so, so good. He's won uh, the endurance race two weeks ago, got 100 points on his board. And he's looking very, very scary for the rest of the field at the moment, doesn't Nick Mido? And very, so, so consistent. So he's definitely going to be a threat for Fizzy as well in the championship, in the battle for P2. If Fizzy is not staying alive in the drivers' championship here today against Keith Camilleri. So let's go on board with Fizzy and see what the Norwegian can do to maybe even start ahead of Keith Camilleri in this uh, particular race. Very nice through the first couple of corners, similar to Echo, I have to say. So nothing, nothing really uh, of a difference there. To the chicane, taking that apex there very, very nicely. Oh, Stay in fourth actually, running the car a little bit wider than Echo does. Into the hairpin, uh, a little bit better for the apex there. I think that was actually a, a mistake Echo made. So definitely a uh, better line there for Fizzy through the hairpin. Oh, much speed carried through there as well. Looking like a decent lap so far. And also very well. Late downshifts there for Fizzy. It's been, like, it seemed like Echo was much more aggressive on the downshifts especially. Not sure if that's also like more confidence for Echo maybe in the car, but I feel like Fizzy's lap has been maybe even a little bit more tidy, a little bit too cautious maybe over the over these two curbs here. Now there's only two corners to go as well for him. One braking zone, one real braking zone. This is going to be a very 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 um, crucial corner here. And he takes it very very well. Around the final corner, not taking any inside curb, but a little bit of outside curb, and that has been a decent lap, I have to say. It looked very, very solid. And let's see where Fizzy is gonna go on the grid. He's gonna cross the line, and he goes provisional pole position. Fizzy for 91, faster than Echo, and crucially faster as well than his championship rival, Keith Camilleri. Mr. Alcon goes sixth for the moment. And I think Nick Mido has actually, yeah, Nick Mido has not finished his lap. So this is very, very, very interesting. Chiki Maki coming across the line in 15th position. 
David Siska, Bernard Vela, Marvin Steuben, Berserkmir, and Matthew Clip is the next group. So let's have a look. Oh, come on. Oh, there we go. All right. David Siska and Bernard Vela, especially at the front of this group, could be very, very dangerous. David Siska as well, very, very high up in the championship. P5. He's also battling for P2 in the uh, Constructors' Championship, together with Nick Meter against Stark Industries, against Fizzy, Evan and uh, Matt. But I'm not sure if Matt is even here today, so we're gonna see how this is gonna be. So David Siska through the uh, chicane, not taking touch on the side curb there, a little bit of the outside curb. So does Bernard, Bernard Vela. It seems like many people are actually taking quite a wide line, quite a wide approach here in the, the hairpin. And we've seen David Siska being so, so consistent all season long. He's barely bottled any qualifying. He's barely been in, uh, caught up in incidents this season. Well, sometimes maybe. Well, not two major ones, I feel like. He's just been so, so consistent. Bernard Vela, oh, Bernard Vela seems to have a, caught him a little bit actually this lap, so let's have a look. This is also someone who has led the championship once, Bernard Vela. I think it was after round 3 of the season. After the dominant start from the Finnish uh, trio, which was non-runner season by Man Sansuke, but obviously through uh, not all of them being uh, main drivers and not all of them contending all of the season. And also with uh, incidents that happened, happened uh, especially since with Sansuke and Sisu Vaima, we've not seen as much of a performance by them after that. And then Bernard Vela was the first one to catch up uh, to that and take the championship lead. Where is he going to go? He's going to go behind David Siska. David Siska in sixth and Bernard Vela in eighth for the moment. So, oh, this, is, this camera angle is just pure stupidness in my opinion. But there we go, Berserkner coming across the line, I think there was someone else as well. So let's have a look. So this group is actually interesting because we've got the fastest man of the practice session in here, Sansuke, has won multiple races this season as well. One of the fastest guys in the leagues, in this league. Quintin, this could be in the very end race. Jeff as well, exited, Evan. So this is probably the strongest group. <coughs> out of just the diversity we have here today but it's going to be interesting will Fizzy get his first pole position of the season or can any one of these drivers actually get it done I think this might be actually the first qualifying uh, group as well of uh, this particular session so Zansuke starting his lap with Quintin right behind him into turn number one we go Swinging the car in, not touching the curbs too much here. Ooh, it seems like Sansuke actually took a lot of curb there. Trying his best. He's been knowing for going absolutely, uh, giving it absolutely everything on this one shot qualifying. And sometimes we have seen him not doing quite as well. With doing mistakes on his qualifying laps. So let's see if he does it here as well. Let's go on board with him. Oh, actually, that's the on board button. There we go. Has been very, very aggressive so far, this lap. See so if he can keep it up. Into fourth gear as well, same as Fizzy. Nice line through there for Sansuke. And oh, very, very wide there for Sansuke, but not too far, uh, uh, not, not too bad really. Let's have a look at Quintin behind. Remember, Quintin third in the championship at the moment. Yeah, third in the championship. Ooh, we're turning in there twice for Quintin. Still managing to get a decent exit, to be honest. Ooh, that. There we go. And let's see. These two protagonists here at the front of this group. And all the others behind, really. Any of these could take pole position still away from Fizzy. It would be Fizzy's first pole position in probably a league racing thing since I don't know how many years. And here comes Sansuke across the line. He goes quickest. One tenth quicker than Fizzy. And Quintin goes ninth for the moment. So still in the top ten. 
And that's not too bad, I guess. Jeff coming across the line. In seven for the man with uh, Jeff, so not too bad either. Evan is coming across the line. Exited, I think, was the man in front. He's going to cross the line soon as well. He goes ninth. Evan across, crosses the line. And uh, he goes 20th for the moment. But Evan is known, obviously, for getting his car together for the race. 1.55 seconds off a uh, pole position. But there you have it, I think. This is your quali qualifying classifications. So on the front row, we have Sansuke and Fizzy. Then we've got Echo and Keith Camilleri. Actually... We will, all, we will already go to the start of, uh, well, not to, to the start, but we will go to uh, have the grid. And then um, uh, a formation lap without fail, which is actually going to be interesting because I've not seen that at all, really, this season. There we go. So it says for me P1 Echo, but that's obviously not true. Sansuke on pole. And see, my, my, my camera is just not working as it should. Fizzy in second. I guess we're just going to wait until... We're gonna go away here for the formation lap and then I will show you the whole grid and see how this penultimate round of the season will go. This is a good, good chance for Fizzy to get some points back on Keith Camilleri. But remember, it needs to be 12 points or more. So if they would finish where they would start, it would not be enough for Fizzy to keep the championship uh, ag uh, alive against Keith Camilleri. And I think for him as well, he's also going to have uh, a look, especially at Nick Mido and Quinton. But both of them are not f starting up too far, uh, too much, um, too much ahead here, too far ahead, uh, too, um, uh, yeah, too far up. There we go. So this is definitely going to be interesting, especially I mean the top four very very nicely to be honest, very very nicely positioned. Actually, who is that in? Uh, if I could maybe find that person, maybe. There we go. Yeah, Iceberg. Ah, I didn't touch on Iceberg in fifth position. When did I miss that? I don't know. <laughs> I definitely missed that one. Apologies to Greg who's racing. But uh, P5 on the grid for VSR Iceberg. So this is going to be very, very, very um, crucial for him as well. And uh, there we go back to the pits and we are gonna have a race hopefully very very shortly so we go on to the formation lap Sansuke leading the way and a fizzy final a uh, fizzy so let's have a look then at this grid here today so Sansuke in pole position as we mentioned fizzy in second that's nothing new echo also nothing new Keith Camilleri VSR Iceberg then Prox, the leading condo car, should have been maybe Quinton, but we've seen Prox having multiple good attempts here this season as well, especially at the start of the season. And we had obviously a pre-season race round here, and I remember, I'm not, I'm not exactly sure anymore, but I think Prox was also quite strong here in the pre-season test, so yeah. It's, in that case, it wouldn't actually be such a surprise to see him up there in the in the top 10, deep into, to, into the top 10. Jeff in 7th at the moment, consistent really from Jeff here uh, this season. He has also won the race. Then David Siska, exited in 9th, Mr. Alcon, Bernard Vela, Quinton then. Remember, also one of the guys who wants to get maybe second in the championship. Ooh, that's actually close to Bernard Vela there up in front. Then does the Oz, Terence Gretsch, Nostra in uh, 40 in 15 position. And then meets the Berserk Mir Joker, Dangerous Janetta, and Evan is rounding up the top 10. Then we've got Logger, which I've not seen before in this uh, race, uh, in this uh, championship. So let's see how he does. Then Heinze. So all of Monster AMG Racing here present today. They definitely want to secure this second place in the championship. But to make a charge for the win is pretty much impossible, I would say, against GT Omega RPM Esports. Cheeky Monkey, Marvin Sluman, Nick Mido, and Matthew Clip rounding up these 26 cars are going uh, to be here to race. And uh, let's go here to Sansuke again. 
because we're gonna go uh, green very very shortly round the final corner we're gonna w wait until everyone is around that final corner and then I think Sansuke is allowed to start the race near the start finish line we obviously don't have a pace car so Phil is not here today so yeah he um, they have to do a little bit of different probably the leader will call for the race start so Sansuke we're waiting as much as possible and he there he goes Good stuff from Fizzy, good stuff for Echo as well. This could be a very, very interesting uh, approach into turn number one here. Quox has already gone past Iceberg. Brilliant stuff from him. He's now challenging the championship leader. Fizzy round the outside of, uh, uh, out of, uh, around the outside of uh, Sansuke into turn number one. Sansuke very deep and that's contact between Echo and Fizzy and Fizzy is round. And that has been not a good start for the Norwegian to this particular race and what we, what we have seen this season so far every single time the his challengers have problems it is Keith Camilleri who profits from this particular uh, from these particular incidents we have seen it as Suzuka as well and he's up into second place but Prox is challenging him here for second place actually this could be a really really interesting battle here they're going two by two and Pox sweeps it round the outside of Keith Camilleri and Echo and Iceberg now side by side. Can Iceberg get past Echo here as well? No, he can't. Oh, actually, that was been in contact, I think, as well. Echo going straight off the track. Careful with the rejoin, boy. There we go. He's rejoining in ninth position. So let's see what happened to Fizzy. Fizzy down in 21st position. Evan has also dropped a lot of position, as well as Nostra. Berserk Mirror as well. Someone uh, like me, Nick Mido has already gone up into 17th position, down from 25th on the grid. Chaotic start here. And not a good start for the championship contender. Of, well, who has the slightest chance still of uh, competing for a championship. Let's have a look. Sansuke leading the way by 3.2 seconds already. Prox is making a statement here by dropping Keith Camilleri for 9 tenths for, of a second for the moment. Iceberg then uh, in uh, fourth and we can see Echo is going past David Siska. He has not had a good start. He knows probably that contact with Fizzy was not good. And then he's had another contact with VSR Iceberg later on in the lap. So this is going to be a recovery drive for Echo. Ooh, that's someone off there in the background. That's Quintin. And a very, very bad run out of the uh, chicane. And now Mixta up the inside, leaving the Condor driver room, though, on the exit. And still up the inside is Mixta, but we've seen this multiple times. Also in different series, I saw this. Quintin, uh, the, the outside car, well, the car with the outside line just has a little bit better grip most of the time. And uh, Nick Mido making another move here up the inside of the uh, Dangerous Jonathan up into 16th position. This could be quite the drive for Nick Mido. And quite a crucial drive as well. Because from P2 to, to P4 on the championship, he is currently ahead of Fizzy at least. Quinton is in 12th position, he has had a very very good exit, he's now right behind Joker, but here comes Dangerous Janetta as well, back on Nick Mido. Nick Mido going, oh my god, he's actually gone down to the grass, he's right on the grass! Nick Mido! And there has been some contact between some of the cars, and oh my god, Fizzy getting caught up in his ear as well, again, after the rejoin. He's currently now in 18th position. Uh, that has been an interesting turn of events. I'm not sure what Nick Mino just completely misjudged that, I think. Now Fizzy under multiple attacks here from a logger. I wonder how bad his damage is. It seems like his front is pretty ruined. 
you can see, I mean, if you can see some scraps on the set of Corsa and the spectator mode, you know the damage is real. And uh, there we go, Mr. Alcon against Bernard Bella. No, that's sorry, that's Jeff against Bernard Bella in the background. My apologies. And Jeff again round the outside. That was actually more impressive because he was far behind coming into the corner. He's actually gone the inside and he's done the move. Very, very nicely done by Jeff there. Up into P number seven. I think he started P7 as well. Did Jeff probably uh, a little bit of issues uh, up and down the field as well. Now has recovered into P number 7. Bernard fell up into 8th. Recovered for some positions. Then Echo David Siska. This could be a very, very interesting battle to be honest. But up front. Sensuke pulling away. Really, really, really consistent. I mean, this is just the... Sansuke that we know best really pumping in those fast lap times pulling away being the fastest driver on the field doing a Laxo-esque drive Still probably learned from him well really We've seen this uh, multiple times this season But we also seen mistakes so you never have to count these people out Pox having a stellar start to this race P number two Gained four positions off the start. Keith Camilleri also a decent start for him. Exactly like what he wanted. Stayed out, stayed out of trouble, etc. Exit jump into fourth now. So good start for him as well. But the iceberg is coming really, really close now. Or is that just iceberg losing positions? I can't remember anymore to be honest. So let's see who's still close. This is actually a battle that could develop very, very soon. Bernard Vela versus Echo. And very, very close here for Echo for the BCDC car. Driving the Tom Bridal car, actually, which is really, really, really interesting. Probably just to the replacing the legend himself of this league. In the same car, and he's doing a good, good job of that really so far this season. So we already won two races, and he's only been here for like four weeks. He also saw mistakes though for um, um, he made at Suzuka. Then we obviously had the um, uh, thing as well at uh, at the start of the race. Oh no, this could be interesting. Nick Mido against Fizzy and Nostra. I think Nick Mito went past Nostra, but probably made a mistake with the chicane or something. Not breaking on the grass this time there on the inside. And yeah, both of these drivers are behind Nostra, most of the most likely faster, I would say. Let's go ball on ball with Fizzy. Oh, let's go on ball with Nick Mito. No. no, never mind. Fizzy, I think, has the better view. Actually, nah. <laughs> Can't make up my mind. Let's have a look then. Fizzy is going up the inside. Nostra is not defending that. And that's an easy pass here for Fizzy up the inside. Into turn number one. Up into P number 16. Now it is really him that he needs to keep an eye on where Quinton is. Quinton is 11 seconds up the road. It's going to be very, very difficult to drive that down. Especially when he probably has damage as well. And Nick Mito, the other champion, the other challenger for second place in the championship, is obviously behind him at the moment. But for all of these guys, it's going to be crucial to get into the top. Oh, and makes that off. He's going to lose the position to all of the three? Question mark. Yes, he does. Also, Nick Mito. And uh, yeah, I was, was about to say what, what I was about to say is oh. Oh, 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 iceberg off, iceberg off. And that is Terence Gretsch as well. And I don't know if there was an incident between the two or if that just was like something really, really weird happening. So that has given Fizzy, Nostra, Nick Mido two positions really in a very, very short amount of time.
And uh, yeah, well, what I was about to say, I've tried this is the third time, the third time lucky. Uh, the just getting in the top 15 for the reverse race is going to be very, very crucial, obviously. Because if you start in P15, you've got to start P1 in this race. So Nick Mido needs to make up one more position here to uh, get into the top 15. And Nostra obviously wants to uh, stay in there. But race is still long. Normally, these positions stay not as they are. We'll see a lot of mistakes. We'll see a lot of overtaking. Still, uh, as we are not even halfway through the race yet. So, yeah. Echo has finally gone past Jeff. So he's now up back up into 6th position and chasing him down Mr. Alcon who had to drop off exited. Who is, I think actually exited was faster than P3 and 2 on the last lap. So keep an eye on exited. We have seen him doing great things recently also at Suzuka where he was also one of the challenges for the victory and in the end could not make it stick because so many people made mistakes during that race Nick Mido who was the eventual race winner in the end as well that's not really just how it is so let's have a look Sansuke coming across the line so let's have a look at the lap times 45.9 for Sansuke Quark's coming across the line Nick uh, Keith Camilleri not too far behind 56.5 50, 46 3 46 3 so they are a lot of people much slower than Sansuke except Echo who has had a 46 0 last lap so only one tenth slower than uh, Sansuke so yeah Sansuke pulling away quite considerably and I think Keith is also getting a little bit closer to Quark's down these last couple of laps Though not close enough yet to make a potential move. That is Jeff off. Having a spin. Trying to rejoin the track. There goes Dazzy Oz by. He's trying to spin the car around. There we go. And then just Jonathan goes through. And there goes Terence Gretsch. And here comes Fizzy. He's going to fit in ahead of Fizzy. Back into PT number 14. Fizzy has been uh, able to, uh, actually, as I say that, he's actually not too far ahead of Nostra, so... A little bit of a gap forming there, but not too much. Nick Meadows having to... Yeah, not having the greatest race so far. Well, greatest race, I say. He started from last position. But it seems like he has got some damage at the front as well, because that nose looks scrappy as well. So let's have a look, what could, oh yeah, oh, Echo already passed Mr. Alcon there. And Quintin as well passed David Siska. So, this is definitely interesting, this is crucial for Quintin especially. This could wrap him, uh, well, right into the contention for second place in the championship. Because he's not too far behind Fizzy, I think it's a little less than 10 points. Maybe a little, uh, sorry, a little bit less than 20 points. And let's have a look then. You can see Quox and Keith Camilleri. Look close, very, very close. That is Echo again having a half spin. Sorry to cut away from that. We've seen a lot of mistakes already in that chicane. We just saw Jeff on the previous lap. <coughs> And now Echo. But the battle for P2. Just gonna get closer and closer. Keith Camilleri is on the charge against Fox. And Exit has been catching these two as well. So he's gonna try to probably make something as well. Make something work as well. Obviously Condor is still like trying to recover as many points as possible. They're currently fourth, I think. In the in the teams in the team's championship. And uh, um, they still have a technical chance, actually, to catch up to Stark Industries. If they would really, like, bring these kind of positions home. Because at the moment, it looks pretty good, to be honest. Fox in seconds. 
coming in seventh. And uh, ah, Joker is actually turned out last at the moment, so we have missed that at some point. But yeah, I mean, still two top 10 finishes, always good for a team. Sensuka with a little bit of a slower lap, but 148.6 from Pox. Woo! So let's have a look then. Quinton actually, 7 tenths faster than Mr. Alcon and Bernabella last lap. Let's have a look at the other people. Terence Quetch, Jeff, Fizzy, Nostra, all around the 47 deads. All around the same pace, really. Even though some of them have damage. It seems like that Keith Camilleri seems to be a little bit stronger here in this middle, in this uh, well, second part of the lap. Very, very close now. Taking a lot of care there on the inside, does Keith Camilleri. Needs to be very, very close though. You need to be close in these kind of cars. To actually make the move stick. The slipstream is not as powerful as you would expect. So you need to be close. Even on a track that has um, long straights. Dumoulin has quite a long um, him, uh, home straight I would say. The box extended the gap a little bit again. In that... Um, nah. In that uh, chicane. So... It's gonna be difficult for Keith, although he's so late on the brakes though, is Keith Camilleri. This could be really an opportunity here, out of the final corner. Let's have a look at the gap, at the essential gap Keith Camilleri has to close. He's very, very close. He's right on the case of Pox here. Let's see if Pox goes defensive against the championship leader. No, he does not. Keith will have the inside line through this little kink here. And into turn number one. And there we go, Pox not fighting that too much. Trying to just probably ski, keep it with uh, Keith here. Oh, he's very, very close. Had a better run here through the first couple of corners. And Keith is going defensive, actually. <coughs> and Pox can't hold him around the outside there. That would have been too much to ask. And I think Keith is trying to keep that position as much as possible. It's going to be a very, very interesting battle developing here. Exited is close behind. And it's going to be very, 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 very interesting between these three drivers. So uh, hopefully we won't miss anything if I cut away from this. But let's see. Bernard Vela is on the case of Mr. Alcon. Nostra is having troubles. Spin for him down to the 24th position with eight laps to go. And let's have a look as well who is close on track. Oh, he's mentioned Bernard Bella and Mr. Alcon, obviously. Karen Scratch, Dangerous Jeanette had Jeff. Kind of close as well. Fizzy's trying to catch up to them. This could be an interesting battle developing as well. Oh, let's have a look then. Oh, let's have a look at P number three here because Fox has definitely lost considerable amounts of time uh, towards Keith Caminari. And here comes Exited now. Very, very close. Challenging for another podium in this league. Fox going defensive this time round. Let's have a look. On the inside is Fox. On the outside, Exited. Fox is managing to defend that position for the moment. Nice defense there. Just kept it clean, just kept uh, hitting his breaking point. And no problem here there for him. Oh, there's a pass going on. Terence Scratch uh -huh, against Dangerous Janetta. Ooh, Terence Scratch very late on the brakes, actually cutting across there. Very nicely managed. Didn't think it would work actually, but he did in the end. Going defensive against Dangerous Janetta. Can Janetta go around the outside here? No, he can't. But now he has to be careful because here comes Jeff with the switch back. And there we go, Jeff straight past with such a better exit. And we have missed a mistake here actually from uh, Exited. He's dropped down into fifth position now. Must have been a mistake here into the fast left. And he's all under pressure now from Bernard Vela. 
going defensive into the hairpin, into the chicane. And Benavella backing out of that one, not trying to go side by side there. So, oh, here comes here comes Fizzy on Dangerous Janetta now. But Dangerous Janetta is staying in front. But Fizzy needs to get past him. He has been losing time uh, behind Dangerous Janetta quite a lot. Keith Camilleri, fastest lap, 145.675. Showing his pace, showing why he's the championship leader. Seven seconds the gap to Sansuke, that's going to be too much to ask, but still. P2 would be another fantastic result for him, and it, it would secure him the championship. So, Fizzy now on Dangerous Janetta. Dangerous is not fighting that too much. Oops, Allah. Oh, interesting. Hmm. Fizzy backing out of that one. I wonder if that's just due to not uh, him not having any straight line speed. If there, or if there actually was contact. There we go. Fizzy now again up the inside. And... Yeah, he was not that far alongside. Oh, with the switch back now. It reminds me of a, it reminds me of a battle I had against Andrix. <laughs> Or someone called Andrew um, in the PC GT3 Elite League on Project Cars. You can do that quite well. And now he, he has Nick Meter all of the back of him as well. So again, round the outside for Fizzy. Let's have a look as well up against Jeff versus Darren Scratch. This is so close between the two. Side by side. Into the left double left hander as well. And Jeff is trying to go around the outside. It has not worked out for him. It has not worked out for Jeff on this particular occasion. Just carrying too much speed, had to break on the grass, and then it's just like, yeah, it's over pretty much. Meanwhile, Fizzy finally passed, um, uh, passed Thingy, uh, passed uh, Dangerous Janetta, and Nick Mita also through. Iceberg now pretty far down as well. Again, with not having a co commentator really here today, it's gonna be, it's gonna be uh, difficult for him. Uh, difficult for me, sorry, uh, to keep up with everything. And Exited is trying to get, redeem himself. Now getting past Mr. Alcon again. And behind him, Bernard Vela. And Quintin. And David Siska. And Exited uh, maintaining that position. And Nick Mina losing the position to Dangerous Janetta again? Surely that must have been that this is probably because of the damage. There's no other way why Nikmita would lose that place again on the straight so considerably. This must be damage for Nikmita, and that, it must be quite considerable, really, at that stage. Uh, uh, on this stage, but all of those people are in the top 15 at the moment, Mixta being the last one. And Iceberg is seven seconds behind that with. Four and a half laps to go. So definitely very, 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 very interesting. I wonder if anything is going to happen in this group here very soon because Bernard Vela is very, very close. Now to Mr. Alcon. Mr. Alcon is going defensive. Oh, he's breaking very late as Mr. Alcon. That's probably too late, is it? Bernard Vela up the inside in the final corner and that's the moves. That's move done for the moment, but the huge strain is coming up now, so maybe with the slipstream, Mr. Alcon might be coming back at him. Here we go. Benavella will probably try to defend this as much as possible. And he does so indeed. Mr. Alcon has to go around the outside. Ooh, a little bit of a grass there. Tip there as well. Again, later on the brakes for Mr. Alcon. Can he hold around the outside? He can, but he has not been ahead. In the next corner, and here comes Quintin now. Oh, he's having a look up the entire, but he's backing out of it. Mr. Alcon is defending that position for the moment. But this could be a very, very interesting battle developing now. Echo not far behind, David Siska not far behind. Very, very feisty, 4P number 5. 
and especially for Quintin it would be such a huge boost to get even more points on Fizzy back in this battle for P2 in the championship. We can now really call that one. We can probably confirm as well that after this race GT Omega RPM Esports will win the um, uh, champ uh, the the Constructors Championship because I mean 400 points nearly before this race and it's going to be even more. Bernard Vela in the top 10, Keith Camilleri in the top 10, Terence Gretsch nearly in the top 10, David Siska from Monster AMG Racing in the top 10, but Nick Mido is not in the top 10, so they're going to be outscored here again this um, in this race by GT Omega RPM Esports. And with three laps to go, actually, let's have a look. It's, uh, like, let's stay on this battle because this could actually still be close. And to turn number one, Bernard has not been able to extend his lead too much, really, on this particular lap. It's around also Echo being very, very close behind David Siska here in the background. There we go. But not close enough. But close. Very close as Echo. He wants to make this stick. There we go. Up the inside. For Echo, can he make it stick against David Siska? He's late on the brakes. Both of them are late on the brakes. Very close race between the two. Echo a little bit wide there, but he managed to keep momentum. Ah, he had to back out of it because probably extension. And he has been not uh, not been able to uh, get past David Siska. They've lost them a lot of time as well, to be honest. To the other cars. So let's have a look. At the leader, Sansuke, 5.5 seconds, 5.4 seconds, 5.5 seconds, and of Keith Camilleri. Keith is catching him a little bit, but not too much really. Prox, solid in P3, has been losing time considerably, but Exit is quite far behind, well, quite far behind, 2.5 seconds. That should be normally enough. And then we have Bernard Vela against Mr. Alcon. Mr. Alcon is not hanging up this one. He wants to stay alive in this battle. If possible. But he's probably not close enough now. He's nowhere near close enough this time round. But uh, i tell you who is close to making an overtake. It is Echo. Very close behind David Siska. David Siska not going defensive. Starting the penultimate lap of this race. And Echo is going past with ease here. I think. There we go. A little bit deep. A little bit deep. Maybe a little bit too deep. David Siska is going around the outside. Echo going defensive. This should normally not work out for David Siska. There we go. He's not going to fight that one. And that moves Echo up into 8th position again after he started in P number 3. But the biggest loser out of this race, definitely Fizzy Fan Antoine one after the contact with Echo into turn number 2 on lap number 1. Dropped all the way down outside of the top 20 and recovered to P number 12 here today. But this recovery is not going to get him far because... Keith Camilleri, the championship leader, is currently in second position, and as things stand at the uh, stands stand at the moment, he would already con uh, con oh, uh, get the championship secured with two races left in, of the season, with 150 points to up for grabs, and his gap being more than 150 points after this race. Zerkmir has lost uh, positions. Oh no, never mind. That was Nostra losing positions. And the leader is on the final lap. Who is still close? Mr. Alcon versus Bernard Vela. It is still not over between those two guys. Quintin is trying to hold on as much as possible. Do you think I think he's just been stuck there really for quite a long time? Bernard Vela intelligently placing his car in the middle of the track to not get Mr. Alcon make any silly ideas. Final lap of the race. Can Bernard Vela hold on 
for this fifth place position. This would be actually very, very crucial, I think. This would be a good result for Bernard Vela, who has been, I don't know, I've been expecting a bit more from him, from him really after that solid start to the season. He's not quite been up there every single time this season. But uh, it seems like in this particular race, he's doing a good job here again. But let's have a look at Sansuke because this is our, should be our main focus now. Because he's coming uh, around the final two corners very, very shortly. I think that's Matthew Clip very, very uh, shortly ahead of him. Yes, it is. Close to being lapped. But here comes Sansuke around the final corner. And he is going to win another race here in this season. I'm not sure how much he races he's won this season, uh, this season so far. I think three or four it is. But this man here, this man here is the hero of this first race as well. It is Keith Camilleri from GT Omega RPM Esports who's coming across, across the line in P2. And now it is officially confirmed Keith Camilleri will win the AOR PC uh, AOR is at the Corsa PC League season number five in the Formula Four car. Congratulations! Such consistent driving from him, and we already have one race, and we oh, still have one race here to go tonight. But we and we can already confirm that Keith Camilleri has done it here today. Has done everything right here today. Prox is coming home in third position. A solid podium for. Uh, uh, Condor here today, exited in 4th, Bernard Vela in 5th, and Mr. Alcon in 6th, also very very solid, Quintin, Echo, that could have been more for the PCDC driver, David Siska already back into the pits, and uh, Dazzy Oz in the top 10 as well, Darren Scritch, Fizzy, Denshin, and Tamixta, and Nick Mido will start on pole position for the second race here today so don't go anywhere we're gonna be right back i'm gonna take a short break here from uh this whole thing i'm gonna be right back we're gonna be covering the second race here today so stay tuned we'll be back in one or two minutes So, we are back, oh, hello, there we go, hello guys, welcome back to the stream, and welcome back to race number two of tonight's race. Uh, 
And I'm gonna, gonna go through the whole grid very, very shortly. And man, this first race has secured probably both of the main championships here today. But P2, P3, P4, everything's still up in the field apart from this huge gaps really from P1 to 2. It is really close together. It's been really, really consistent driving for many people this season. And I'm going to have one more race to go here tonight. And we will see how this goes. 15 seconds until we can start the formation lap here for race number two. And uh, waiting for the lights to go out. And then we can... Uh, send the 26 cars here onto their journey here once again back to the pits I go and Nick Mido will be the one who will go his way if I can find him there we go this is David Siska but never mind we're gonna have a look at Nick Mido so this is our uh, grid for the second race here tonight for the reverse grid order for the first 15 positions of race number one. Nick Mido in a good position here to do the best out of his uh, very, very, uh, it was, uh, well, interesting race really. Coming from P26 on the grid, P25 on the grid, coming up to P15 with damage on the car, I think it was as well. And uh, yeah, finishing P15 in the end and uh, getting a reverse two ball position. Meets then second place. Dangerous Ginetta, Fizzy in 4th position, really really a lucky race for him, uh, this first one, but he's looking to do hopefully better in this second one, don't be involved in any incidents, I swear, don't do it again, <laughs> every single time, I, I, this has been like the commentator's curse, or I don't know what it is, but every single time, Phil and me have not been commentating this season. Fizzy has actually done amazing, like even more amazing than we have seen him at the start of the season. Getting second place, getting podiums, blah blah, etc, etc, etc. Then like the two races we've actually like commentated on since round number three. It has not gone really well, uh, to be honest. Uh, round four, sorry. Uh, round seven, we saw him... Uh, at Suzuka, not really being there. Also an incident involved on the first lap, I think. And now, in his first race here today, uh, the second, uh, the contact with Echo. But then we have Terence Gretsch in fifth. Then we have uh, got Dazzy Oz, David Siska, Echo, Quintin, Mr. Alcon, Bernard Vela, Exited, Pox, Keith Camilleri, the already crowned champion here in this season, and Sansuke, the race winner from the previous race. So, let's have a look at Nick Mido then. Let's focus on Nick Mido coming around the final corner, and someone here after the uh, final corner, after everyone has uh, gone up to the. Um, uh, got, gone through the final corner. We will have second, the second race of tonight here on the way very, very shortly. And here we go, Nick Mino launches the car away. Meeks does, can't quite follow, but it has been a good start for Fizzy, who's already trying to attack Dangerous Janetta here. Behind him is Terence Gretsch, very, very close behind. But Nick Mido has maintained the position of the start. Let's see if Fizzy can make the move against Dangerous Jonathan. No, he can't, but Dangerous Jonathan goes off the track. And Fizzy has claimed that third position. Dangerous Jonathan is rejoining the track. Very, very interestingly, Mr. Alcon a little bit off the track there. But apart from that, cleaner start for, for this stint than uh, previously. Oh, that's Jeff having an interesting... And maybe has a disconnection as well. Yeah, probably a disconnection from uh, Jeff there at the start of this race. So very, very unfortunate. Danger Janetta has dropped down into 11th position already. Mr. Alcon. 
Oh, Fizzy is actually very, very close here behind Meekster. A little bit of contact, maybe even. Oh, he's trying everything here to get past Meekster as quickly as possible. And I, if I would be Fizzy, I would be doing exactly that, especially before Keith Camilleri comes. Because this man is already up into sixth position. What a start. For Keith Camilleri. Meekster against Fizzy into the final two corners probably not close enough here for Fizzy but we will have the opportunity here uh, on the start finish straight and Meekster's actually very very late on the brakes that's too late on the brakes for Meekster but Fizzy's going through Dazios is going through and uh, Keith Camilleri now up into 5th position and very very close now behind Mixta as well but Mixta will have to slip through of Dazios as well all the cars flying down this massive straight Nick Mido has got a comfortable lead after the first flying lap Fizzy in 2nd, Dazios, Mixta Keith Camilleri having a look up the inside here against Mixta but it is not quite enough for the GT Omega RPME Sport Driver got the better exit though He's trying to go up the inside. Ah, Meekster tried to defend that, but it was too late already. Up the inside goes Keith Camilleri. Round the outside for Meekster. Round the outside for Keith Camilleri there. And that is a beautiful move from the championship winner. Up into fourth position now. Doing a Laxo-esque start here to the race. Echo up into seventh place. Pretty much started there as well. Quinton in there as well. Lost probably the position to uh, um, um, uh, to, to to Echo there, and they're all behind Terence Gretsch. Oh, I can see him smoking. Yeah, there we go. That is Mr. Alcon waiting for the cars to go past. And this is very, very unfortunate. Mr. Alcon is... Ooh, now to last position. There we go. Now he goes... Gets going again. Hmm, not sure what that was. Maybe he had some uh, other issue. Oh! Oh, no! Two Monster AMG racing cars in the wall, both! Did they have an incident? Heinze and David Siska. Oh, man. Having an incident between teammates is never good really to happen. Fizzy with the fastest lap, 46-6. That was nearly a second faster than Nikmido last lap. This could be very, very interesting to watch. Keith Caminari also coming from behind. Echo, round the outside of Terence Gretsch, guards up into 6th position. Echo on the charge, another one who is on the charge. Fox is now up into 8th position as well, and Quinton has disappeared. Where is Quinton gone? Quinton down to 19th now. So I probably missed that one somewhere. Which is huge for the people who are battling for 2nd in the championship. So basically Quinton did such an awesome job with P7. Really, solid drive from him. Oh, Brox is trying to go around the, down the inside of Terence Scratcher. That has not gone well. It has not gone well. It was a late lunge from Brox. And Terence Scratcher trying to leave as little room as possible. And then eventually they came to, to they came together. They both lost awful lot of position. Oops, a lot. But me also going through there, I think. Or no. Oh, yeah, he actually does. And that is ooh, Matthew Clip rejoining the track in a very weird way. Probably did not see Pox there and unfortunately tagged the rear of him. And that has been an awful start to Pox's race. After, well, uh, well, a, a bad uh, thing that happened after the start to the race. Another fast stop from Fizzy. Only attempt though faster than... Um, Nick Mido on, and here comes Nick Mido, and uh, Nick Mido, Keith Camilleri, does the Oz, does the Oz, not the f uh, fighting that position too much, and it was Sansuke with the fastest lap last lap, so not the, 
not the best not best uh, not the best start here for Zansuke but he was the fastest in the first race especially at the start of the race now this could be very good could get very very interesting especially since he's he's actually like uh, getting close to Echo now as well remember Echo is one of the fast fast drivers here as well We've got side-by-side -side action between Joker and Exeter. Joker up into 10th now. Exeter in 11th. Hasn't moved much, really. Joker around the outside. Has got the inside here. And is able to defend that position, if I'm not mistaken. I think Joker was ahead. And uh, this could be actually a very, very good race here for Joker. Although he still has really, really good drivers behind him. Exited, obviously, being one of them. Terrence Gretsch. Maybe has damage on the car. Oh, that's a very, very crazy... That's a such a good exit. From Exited. Ha, ha, ha. And... And he is gonna go past Joker, trying to counter up the inside. Exited, leaving the room, actually, on the inside, just in case. And Joker not even being able to do anything about it. Now Terence Gretsch is now going side by side with Joker. Has such better straight line speed. Maybe Joker also suffering from damage or something. I wouldn't be surprised actually. Seems like at the front that Nick Mino is, well, is able to stabilize his pace. Getting Fizzy a little bit out of reach now. And Keith Camilleri starting to close in a tiny tiny bit on his former championship rival. What a, what I really, really, really want to see now. Oh, Vela, Vela passed Danger Center. Yeah, both of them didn't really have a good start to the race, did they? Marvin Sluman now passed Joker. Marvin Sluman has been nowhere in this first race as well as his teammate Matthew Clip. And now Marvin up into uh, P11, although he's going to lose that position again due to Joker holding it around the outside there. Just a little bit too cautious maybe for Marvin there. But he's doing it well here against Quintin, who has huge, seems to have huge damage there. So there must have been something going on with Quintin. Very, very close there in the midfield. Evan also in the mix there, not too far behind. But now I want to watch Sansuke versus Echo. This could be very, very interesting, really. They're both catching up to Mista. Nick Mino, 146 0. Four tenths faster than Fizzy. Half a second quicker was Keith coming out than Fizzy for the last lap. Echo, is he gonna try to make a move against Mista? No, he's not close enough. Sansuke trying to make it to do his best as well. To close in on these guys. He does. He's not going to be close enough here into this game. But this could be a very, very interesting battle developing. How long can Meeksta hold these two <laughs> crazy people behind? Ooh! Oh, never mind. Look that for a moment. Sansuke would go up the inside. Echo try to cover that. In the end, Sansuke didn't go for it. Oh! Whoa, 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 iceberg. This hairpin is so deadly. I've said it before the race, uh, before both of the races. This hairpin is off camber and it can ca ca uh, catch a lot of people out. I've, we've not seen many mistakes here through, these, uh, through this kind of... Um, so far, that's Evan having an incident with Martin Sluman and Cheeky Monkey just completely spinning it on himself because he probably got scared so much by it. And unfortunately, an incident between Evan and Marvin Sluman in that particular corner. We've seen Marvin having problems in that corner before. Maybe a little bit too slow for uh, Evan. Uh, maybe they misjudged it a little bit behind. I don't know. But this is the battle for P number two developing now. Fizzy had a very poor lap, it seemed like in comparison to Nick Mido as well. And this is the battle between him and Keith Camilleri. K 
can Keith Camilleri get past Fizzy here round the outside into turn number one? Fizzy is trying to hold it. He's got his car alongside. He has. Still, Keith leaving him the room. It is still up the inside here. But Fizzy cannot make anything stick there. Keith is going defensive here into the hairpin as well. Oh, Fizzy trying to go around the outside there. He needs the exit now. Keith going defensive once again. This is an, an incredible battle between two that are not championship rivals anymore. But Keith is defending. Uh, Keith is staying ahead. Fizzy didn't have enough slipstream really in that particular. Um, in that particular. Um, nah, straight. There we go. Question is, can he hold on now? Can he hold on to Keith Camilleri? Or does he have to fall back? I'm really surprised. Dazzy Oz, Mixta, and Mixta are having a fantastic race here at the moment. They're still both ahead of Echo and Sansuke here. Something which I did not expect four laps ago, I have to say. Although Echo is not very close, isn't he? Isn't he? Fizzy's not far, uh, close enough to Keith Camilleri. But is Echo close enough to Mixta? We will find out. Dazzy Oz is actually coming close now in Mixta's sights. And Dazzy Oz going defensive against Mixta around the outside. Does PCDC need to go? He's breaking very late on the brakes. He's actually made a stick. Brilliant move by Mixta. Very close though. On the, on the apex there, Echo is trying to go around the outside and a bit compromised exit speed now. Sansuke is just watching all this action behind. Oh! Oh, scary moment there from Sansuke and Echo both having over there on the apex there. And as he also is trying to put Mixa under as much pressure as possible. This is an awesome battle. But Mixta finally got past Tazios. The question is now, can he pull away? Oh, Tazios probably had a twitch there or something like that because Echo has gone straight past him. On the exit of that fast uh, left-hander. And now it's probably Sansuke's turn to make his attempt at the pass of Tazios. We're probably not into the chicken. Ooh. All of them bouncing up together here. All of them with decent exits though. All of them trying to be as close to each other as possible. Echo also close to Mixta now. And Sanzuke tried to maximize the corner, but also e Echo is very, very close now behind um, uh, uh, Mixta, that is. Sansuke has to go around the outside. Mixta. He's not defending that against, um, uh, against uh, Echo. Echo is going up the inside. Sansuke around the outside. And the two seemingly, well, it seems like quicker drivers are both making their moves. Echo up into fourth position now. Oh, as I say that, as I say that, I commentator cast him. Echo not up into fourth position. He's now down to seventh again. Uncharacteristic to see so many mistakes from Echo, the man who has been, well, was said from Phil before. Uh, but after the Hungary race, where I, he raced against him, Echo is someone who does not ma it doesn't seem to make many mistakes. Well, doesn't seem to like today. We've seen a couple of them here today. A couple of them. Evan is falling down the field. Ah, that's that corner. Yeah, we've seen some incidents there already. We saw Jeff. We've seen Echo now multiple times as well, having problems there in that particular corner. Not a great night here for Evan. Also, after that incident with uh, Marvin Sluman, I think it was earlier on, prob probably did not help too much. 
Let's have a look. How does the lead look like? Nick Mido still ahead of Keith Camilleri. Quite a lot. Keith is pulling away slightly from Vizine, but not as much as anymore as he was previously, I think. 3 tenths that lap difference between the two. Nick Mido only one tenth slower than uh, than uh, nah than Keith Camilleri. And this is another Sansuke move potentially, but he runs it off the track here into turn number one. And Mixta actually has made a mistake as well. And Dazzy Ars is gonna capitalize on that. Is gonna go up into full position now. No one would have believed that. I think oh, out of these four battle, uh, out of these four now that Dazzy Ars is now back up in front. So basically, it's the same order again, but just the uh, three behind have just completely switched around. Well, actually, it's not. The same order at all, apart from Dazio still being in the front. That's pr pretty much what stayed the same. Every everyone else has seemed to have switched position, and they lost time. And they lost time. Question is now: Can Echo go past Sansuke? Sansuke doing going defensive. And yeah, defends that position quite nicely. So let's see, do we have any close battles here still? Bernard Vela, Joker, Quinton, Joker making a mistake as I say that. Bernard Vela going straight past him. Down to 12th position for Joker, still 12th position. Better than the position he had in the previous race. Let's have a look behind as well. Oh, the top three so closely matched. All of them within a tenth last lap. All of them in the 45s. So we have exited Prox and Mr. Alcon. All of them top 10 finishers in the first race. And Prox even being a podium finisher in the first race. Oh, I've missed. Oh, okay, nah, nah, nah. Why do I always miss these? Nansuke has gone past Dazios as I say that. And ooh, seems like very, very close there. Echo is trying to follow through as well. As he was going defensive into this uh, hairpin. And Echo trying to sweep it round the outside. Can he make it stick? Great exit there as well. But And I think Echo has made the move stick here. Although, 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 Dazios is still there. He's still there. But he's gonna, yeah, he's gonna, yeah, he's gonna slot in behind Echo. Good move there by Echo. Round the outside of the hairpin. Ooh! Aggressive defending after that. And it seems like Fizzy has made a mistake this lap. He cannot follow Keith Camilleri anymore. He tried his best, I think. He tried to push. He tried to maximize his speed. But I think Nick Mido and Keith Camilleri are just a little bit too quick here for Fizzy. To really, really keep up. Still, though, it's gonna be another podium for him here today. It's gonna be uh, probably his fifth or sixth podium of this season. So, yeah, that's very, very good to see. Uh, Mr. Alcon in the pits. Oh dear, that's not good to hear. Mr. Alcon disconnect from the session, so you probably didn't have too many. Too good of a day, really. Sansuke now against Echo. So Sansuke has gone. Uh, yeah, both of them have gone past uh, Dazi Oz. This is an interesting battle, really. Sansuke managed to defend that position for the moment. Echo is very, very close, though. And Sansuke going, needing to fe feeling the need to, to go defensive here. Into this corner. Still, lots of different approaches again through that hairpin. It's just what we've seen really all, all of these two races, all of the in the qualifying session as well. Sansuke needing to, just defending every single corner against Echo. Echo just getting the best exits all the time. Oh, that has been a brilliant two corners there by uh, Sansuke. 
Probably giving a little bit of breathing space coming into this chicane here. Ah, but not the best exit out of that one. So Echo is still close. Let's go on board with him. Let's see if he can make anything happen. Sansuke going defensive into the final two corners. Echo around the outside. Sansuke very late on the brakes. Managed to slow it down. Keeping it there, keeping a little bit of uh, momentum there on the inside. Cave Camilleri with a new fastest lap. And Echo now going past Sansuke here potentially up the inside. And he's nearly ahead even, though, even before we approach the kink. So he, this should be a move be done. Hello, where is, it? where is it? Where are the guys? There we go. Echo made the move stick, but that doesn't mean too much. Tansuka can still come back at him. But Echo staying in front into the chicane. This could be a very, very interesting battle really towards the end of the race. I think Sansuke may have some damage as well. Ooh! Oi, 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 oi. Again, different approaches to this corner. Someone who's really charging the hour is Keith Camilleri. He is trying his absolute everything. He's throwing everything at Nick Mito at the moment. The, both of them are clearly the fastest drivers on the track at the moment. Both of them the 45s in the last couple of laps. Absolutely dropping Fizzy behind them. Behind him. Behind them. There we go. Three seconds of the gap. Hmm. And it's only four laps to go, so it's gonna be very difficult here for Keith to still do anything. It probably requires a mistake from Nick Mido. Nick Mido very, very solid here in the final few corners as well. Has not lost any time there. 45-9 again by Nick Mido. 45-4 from Keith Camilleri. That is a crazy lap time. Crazy lap time. At this stage of the race, it seems like this man has won the championship and now he's getting even faster, even more risky, even more small potential unleashing out of Keith Camilleri. Sanzuka has gone past Echo again, meanwhile, into turn number one. Seemed to have been quite the move. This is the battle for P4, two very, very fast people. Battling it out, knowing they cannot catch uh, the podium positions. Again, Echo, very, very, very wide approach to the hairpin. I mean, not sure if it's really working out for him. Steadily close again at the end of the straight, but hmm, I'm not sure. So, in all of this, Quintin is now back up into 11th position. Again, if we look at the battle for second place in the championship, this could be still crucial for him. Even though he's going to lose a lot of points to Nick Mito and Fizzy here in this race. A lot of points. So, who have we still got close? Apart from, oh, Quintin and Bernard Vela still. I mean, this battle has been raging since uh, many, 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 many uh, laps. Keith Camilleri getting another four tenths out of Nick Mido that last lap. Three more laps to go in this penultimate round of the season. And at the moment, it looks like Nick Mido might secure his second win of the season. After a very, very, very solid drive. Keith Camilleri though, I mean from 14th up into 2nd and how quickly he got there, really really good, otherwise he wouldn't have even been able to, you know, even challenge Nick Mido here. Nick Mido very very solid so far this lap, still 2.6 seconds the gap. Fizzy is now going into ultra conservative mode, I think. 
you know, as he's tried everything. He's tried everything and he's gonna secure third position. It's all about defending that second place in the championship now for him, I think. Nick Mido and uh, Quinton are close. I think Nick Mido is gonna be the first charger here, uh, the first uh, competitor for him after this round. And uh, yeah. Let's go a little bit further back. There we go. Yeah, I uh, just saw that. Berserkmir probably made a mistake there. David Siska going through. Not a great day for David Siska, I have to admit. Just been unlucky, really. In uh, could have been some inc incidents. So yeah, yeah it's just it's just how it goes, really. Sometimes you can't have all the good races all the time. And the Kmido actually extended the lead. Onto the penultimate lap here, 3.7 seconds. Keith Camilleri probably made a mistake somewhere. So Nick Milo held on and he's been, um, yeah, he's forced Keith to do probably something too special. Trying to go do something special out of the lap times that he probably wasn't able to do. That forced that mistake. And it gives Nick Mido a healthy margin on coming onto the one and a half, uh, final one and a half laps here. Also, Sansuke starts to pull away now a little bit from Echo, not too much, but considerably a much, uh, consider well, well enough that most likely no one will uh, grab that fourth place away from him and that should, this would be a brilliant drive again from Sansuke. First place in this race, fourth place in, uh, uh, first place, sorry, uh, P1 in the first race, uh, fourth place in the second race, will be the highest point scorer here tonight. And that is just really um, sad that he wasn't able to produce that all of the season because this could this could have been a really really cool championship battle with him and Keith Camilleri. Actually, Keith will uh, maybe uh, I'm not sure if actually uh, it's going to be actually close with uh, between him and Keith with the um, uh, close uh, with the highest points scorer here for today. So, definitely, definitely very, very close between those two here tonight, performance-wise. Nick Miro on to the final lap then. Has not blinked once. And that's something he has been so good at, Suz at Suzuka as well. He's, yes, he's made that mistake at the start while in the lead. But then the others made the mistakes, the others made the mistakes after that, and after that he had the lead, and he extended the lead, and he was so confident, and he was so fast. It's exactly what he's been here doing here today, without any mistakes. Now it's only half a lap to go for him, to secure this place here. His second win of the season would be his second win in this, in this uh, league it would be. Terence Gretsch against Nostra. Hmm. This is interesting. I'm not sure, sure where Nostra was exactly so far. So... This could be very interesting <laughs> coming across the line. Let's have a look then. Nigmino's not too far uh, behind now. Oh, sorry. Uh, no. Well, actually... I'm not sure where, oh, uh, what I should uh, stay on, really. Danger to let have BSR iceberg very very close, but let's have a look then. Nick Mido coming across the final, uh, coming across, coming around the final corner, and he's going to secure his second win of the season. Congratulations to Nick Mido once again the second place here for Keith Camilleri here today. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Uh, we um night here for him, and as we said before, he has already secured the championship. Fizzy. Very, very good drive as well for him in P number 3. He can be happy with that one. Sansuke coming home in 4th. Echo in 5th. Dazzy Oz in 6th. Very solid drive as well. Meeks then 7th. And Nostra is gonna hold on, I think. Just step out from Terence Gretsch. Bernard Vela just ahead of Quinton as well. 
And uh, this could be actually interesting. Joker exited. And here comes Iceberg against exited. <coughs> I'm sorry. And, uh, and uh, yeah. Uh, Iceberg was not able to get that position of exited. David Sitka coming across the line. Berserk may coming across the line. Cheeky Monkey coming around the final corner now. And with Heinze and Marvin Sluman. Unfortunately, Marvin Sluman a little bit further down again. After having had a decent -ish start to the race, really. It's gonna wrap up this field here today with four, five people now finishing the race. Mr. Alcon, Mav uh, Matthew Clip, Evan, Logger and Jeff. With that, I also have to say, unfortunately to, uh, to everyone, this is going to be my final stream, well this is going to be the final race that's going to be streamed from this league this season. Unfortunately I am not here next um, week and since we probably won't be able to find um, a replacement for this, I mean, never know, but just wanted to say in advance, this most likely is going to be the final stream on the Assetto Corsa league here tonight. Mavitz Lumen across the line. And we're gonna go off the server and we're gonna see how these um uh, how these uh, positions look like really uh so far. And we're going to try to get up the music here. There we go. And here we can see the results of the second race here again in full detail. Nick Mido winning the race 4.2 seconds in the end ahead of Keith Camilleri, who also got the fastest lap on lap 14. Fizzy in third, Sansuke, Echo, Dazzy Oz, Mixta, Nostra, De uh, Terence Gretsch and Bernard Vela in 10th position in the end. And, and, and let's have a look at the gap between Iceberg and Exited. Iceberg actually got the position of Exited then in the end by uh, 8 thousandths of a second. <laughs> well that is, that is something isn't it? Really 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 close. Well in that case in that case, that sums it really up for these two races. And it's time now for interviews. Unfortunately, well, I would ask obviously Phil, who do we want to have the interviews with? But I guess it is now just, uh, we're, well, my turn, I guess, to just uh, um, uh, get these people in here. And obviously I want to talk uh, with the um, championship winner here today, Keith Camilleri, so I'm see if he is available um, oh my god so many project cast people in here there we go Keith Camilleri Keith does Keith want to join us that would be brilliant All right, we've got him here. The new AOR Assetto Corsa PC League Championship. Keith Camilleri, congratulations. Hold on, hold on for a second. I can't hear you at the moment. Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Can you say something again? Okay, I'm going to quickly restart this code on my side. That's probably an issue on my side. I'll be right back. <laughs> Oh dear, oh dear me. What am I doing? I've not uh, talked to anyone on Discord uh, before today, so I should probably should have done that before. Hopefully it works now. Yeah, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you now. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Well, once again, congratulations on winning the championship here today. That was some stellar performances. How do you feel? Uh, thanks very much. Um, yeah, I feel happily, happy, of course. Um, the the second race it was quite a good race for me. I was I was very fast in the in the beginning of the race, and uh, I was trying to catch up uh, with Nick Mido, but he had an amazing pace. And uh, then I had a lock up uh, after Aquaman Rally, yeah. and I had to bring the car home. Yeah, we saw we saw that the gap just slowly closing down a little bit and then we saw it bouncing up again 
to uh, 3.7 seconds, I think it was. So yeah, you, uh, I, 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 like, I think yeah, I saw that you uh, made a little bit of a mistake there. But again, it seemed like after that first race, you seemed to be even faster in that second race. Was it, was it maybe because you knew you had already the championship secured and just thought just could like drive freely because you just blasted through the field in the first couple of laps like almost laxo-esque really not really I, I, I wasn't thinking much about the championship uh, to be honest uh, i was trying to get the win but uh, the first race sansuki was so so quick so i just uh, was happy to get second um i kept the pace but i didn't push as much uh, as the second race of course, the second race, uh, you're at the back, you're in 14th or 15th place, I don't I don't know exactly. So you have to push from the beginning to, to, to do something in that race. Yeah, definitely. And I think, I'm not entirely sure, but I'm certain, I think, that, that uh, your team has also wrapped up the team championship here today. What What is that meaning for, like, the whole team? Is that, yeah, I mean, pretty amazing, isn't it? <laughs> Yeah, I think the whole team is happy, especially Justin. Uh, I think he's hearing me now. <laughs> uh, yeah, we, we're very happy. We, we entered uh, this championship for the second time and to win it in the second uh, round, in the second attempt, uh, it's amazing. Yeah, well, well done. Not only for, from you, but also from all your teammates. Really, you have been doing an amazing season, and it's still one round to go. Obviously, I, I unfortunately I can't cover that next uh, next uh, race uh, next. Week, sorry, my, I, I'm just completely gone. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean, good luck for that. Congratulations again, and hopefully we'll see you maybe in the next season again. Yes? No? Um, could be. I, I don't know exactly because uh, I might be switching to not. I might be. I, I am sure switching to i racing. Um, ah. So maybe <laughs> maybe you see me in a like a fun event or something, but I don't think for the championship. All right, all right, all right. And uh, I should say uh, congrats from Justin Mitchell again. I just got the message uh, from uh, the Discord. So, yeah, uh, congrats again, and I will see you hopefully soon. Thank you very much. Thank you, guys. Thank you. There we go. That has been Keith Camilleri, the championship winner here today. All right, there's still a lot of people in di on Discord. Um... Who could we bring in? We could bring in... Uh, I don't know. Uh, let's let us... Uh, Sansuke maybe? Yeah, Sansuke, because Sansuke is... Sansuke is Sansuke. And he's been doing amazing here today. First time since uh, quite a while, actually, I've seen Sansuke uh, <laughs> performing that well. Because, yeah, I've just been a uh, absent, really, for most of the races. And uh, then at uh, Suzuka, he wasn't here as well, uh, there as well. So, yeah, that uh, was just uh, a shame. But uh, here he is, Sansuke. Um, it actually was, for me, the first time since a while I've seen you win a race, even though you won a few races in my absence. But seems like even though you missed some of the races, you haven't lost any pace. No? <laughs> Well, yeah, um, I haven't done too much practice since the break, to be honest, and I have had some problems with my network, and I actually got a new wheel last week, and mm. actually I did my first kilometers straight in the race one reporting, so <laughs> Damn. it hasn't been. Uh, well, to be honest, I think I can be more uh, consistent with this wheel because mm -hmm. I can feel the tires and stuff a bit better, but uh, I still lack the consistency because the millage I have with it. <laughs> so yeah. It really showed in the race one where I was really struggling in the end. It's I wasn't innocent. even trying to control the pace. I was just struggling with the car. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we saw, yeah, we saw Keith uh, catching you a little bit towards the end of the race. Then second race, uh, it seemed like, like in comparison to Keith, you were maybe stuck or something i mean he just blotted into the distance yeah i have no idea how he got through all the cars i thought like in the lap two that the um rpm esports car in front of me is his car but it was actually bernard so i have no idea what he did <laughs> <laughs> but i was trying to be a bit cautious because i thought there might be some crashes there weren't 
that many because I thought there would be more because the track was quite tricky today, mm -hmm. especially in the races because I think the wind got stronger for the races. It wasn't that bad in the practice. I did. I think we did much better times in practice, even though the grip wasn't that high. So. <laughs> I see. I see. Well, I mean, considering uh, you have got a new wheel now and stuff like that, you seem still to, uh, seem to do pretty amazing. And uh, in that case, I mean, obviously, I guess for the championship and stuff like that, should have probably expected you a little bit higher up. But obviously, you didn't do all the races this season, etc., etc. And uh, but still, I mean, probably still a successful season all around for you so far, I guess. Um, well, the. First two races or runs were good. I yeah. was happy with them. Uh, Snetterton, not so much. Montreal as well. And then I began to have uh, some other problems as well. So it has been quite underwhelming, but when it has gone right, it has been quite a nice race. <laughs> I think it, it has been better than the last season, at least. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that definitely. I mean, yeah. <laughs> I mean, in that case, really, congratulations again for, uh, on your win again in race one. And uh, maybe I will see you next season again. Yes? No? Maybe? Hopefully, yes. I really like your streams. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. All right. Thanks for that. And uh, yeah, good luck for the final race next week. Yeah, thanks. Good. That has been Sansuki, everyone. Where is the Discord? There we go. Um... I want to have uh, Nostra in here as well because he's the coordinator and I want to have a little bit of a chat of it with him about the season, uh, maybe. To just conclude this season really for the streaming part of stuff. And so, uh, yeah, first of all, though, I want to. Um, uh, Talk a little bit about uh, someone who's currently starting, still second in the championship. I'm not too sure anymore. But um, hello, Mr. Fizzy. Oh god, hello. Hello. I've, oh. uh, I I just pulled you. I don't know if you were like up to something. I'm trying to get a picture from my tweets. So that's incoming. That's <laughs> well, um, um, first of all. Um, probably you don't want to talk about this too much, but 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 what happened in the first two corners on the first lap? I cried. Oh, <laughs> uh, that's that's well, the summary. Okay. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I don't know. It's um, it's unusual uh, for me to crash at the start because uh, normally my mindset, of course, at the start is to try and keep it clean and just out of trouble. Mm -hmm. But um, you know, it's not very often that I get to challenge for the lead and I knew that Sansuke was ridiculously fast just from seeing his practice time and obviously the only man who had qualified me as well <laughs> yeah <laughs> somehow um so when I got that gray slip run on the on the into the first corner I just had to go for it um I think both of us break a bit late and went deep actually mm -hmm. uh, I probably just misjudged the slipstream speed a little bit and uh yeah, uh, had a slightly awkward line into the right-hander, uh, got a tap on the rear from Mecco, I think, and yeah. continue. Oh man, yeah, it's, uh, like I saw that tap from Echo, but it was like a little bit, uh, it looked a little, it always looks a little bit uh, weird sometimes on the stream itself, so yeah, I wasn't really sure what exactly happened, but I mean, you know, I was, yeah. I was, I was covering a little bit of the slightest of slightest chance you still had <laughs> to... <laughs> to to get to Keith Cavallari in the championship, but I guess the focus maybe <laughs> is now to defend P2. I guess maybe. Yes. Yeah, I think it's been that for a while. Obviously, Keith even before for tonight, he had a quite huge lead in the championship. Mm -hmm. So he was quite uh, obviously he was going to win it. Um, yeah, uh, it's a similar gap I think to uh, Nick Medio and Quinton behind about 15, 16 points or something. So yeah, but was it was before the tonight, huh? I guess. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's it's a similar situation, really. Uh, one long race. It's it's all about staying out of trouble in, at Spa because when it's only one race, there's no uh, second race to, to to recover any points that you lose. So, exactly. Uh, yeah, it's uh, it's good though that I got the the podium in the second race uh, to sort of keep me in the 
the advantageous spot in the championship. Uh, even though I didn't really drive too well. Well, I drove okay in the second race, but I just didn't have the pace of Nick Mido and, and Keith, really. I tried to fight Keith over it a little bit, but yeah, uh, yeah. once he got that slipstream on the main straight, it was just not really possible. Yeah, but even after that, you, I think, held on for a few laps and stuff like that, but I think then yeah. it was just probably gone, I guess. Yeah, well, yeah, I held on for maybe five, six laps within a second or something, mm -hmm. um, but then I had a... Um, had a little mistake at the corner uh, in the middle sector where you go uphill, uh, the uh, right hander. I uh, can't remember the name. Uh, I had to basically go off track and lose three seconds to avoid spinning. So uh, at least I stayed in third. But from there, from there on, there was really no point. You know, the, the gap to the top two was just too big, and I was sweating like crazy. So I just saved it up. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, as you said, I guess P3 very, very important. I guess to uh, maybe get that uh, second place in the championship. I mean, really. For a debut season, you've done really, really, really well. Done so many podiums already and stuff like that. Nearly got a pole position here today as well. Uh, so still in a win. I, I was, I was like, I was nearly jinxing it. I was actually saying like, hey, I, I haven't seen Physio pole actually since like years. I, <laughs> I haven't like... seen Physio pole for years. <laughs> <laughs> and then, and then, and then, uh, and then, uh, thing, and then Sansuke came in. It's like, ah, damn it. But there's still a chance next week. So you know, you never know. Yeah, we'll see. Spy is fun. Uh, long lap though, so you know the uh, yeah, more chance for the fastest guy to to show their skill on a long lap. Mm -hmm. but, uh, um, you know, yeah, you tend to see. you tend to do better anyway when I'm not, not when I'm not streaming. Uh, it seems like <laughs> so 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 yeah. M maybe that's a good omen as well. But uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, good good on you really uh, for the third place again, and uh, good luck for the final race to secure second in the championship. Hopefully, yeah. Thank you. It's been a way better season than I hoped for, and, and uh, hoping to hoping to end it on a high. And uh, finally, thanks to you as well for streaming uh, throughout the season to the races where you haven't tried to become a professional. Oh my god! I can't, but, I can't, uh, I can't believe how, <laughs> how much this has messed up really the whole schedule for this for these streams. But, yeah. At least you got to the pro draft in end, so it wasn't all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was nearly all for but, nothing, yeah. but uh, very close. Very close. <laughs> all right. All right See you later. Bye-bye. Huh? Yeah. See you. Bye. Uh, I try to... Uh. Alright. Okay, I'm gonna quickly get Nostra in for the final... Just, just, to, just to have a little bit of a chat about the season, really. Uh, just to conclude the stream. Hello, Mr. Coordinator. <laughs> Well, another season. Well, it's not. Well, it's not concluded yet. You still got one big, 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 big race ahead of us. But uh, as we normally did this, like in previous seasons, stuff like that. Um, like I don't know. Quick things like what did you think went really, really well this season? What made this season like unique to all the other ones before? Uh, I think when we changed the format a bit, so we both had sprint races and uh, endurance races, mm -hmm. that really um, mixed it up a bit. Um, and then again with the double points. Um, yeah, I think that was um, a good thing we, we did that. Maybe we should have a little bit more uh, endurance races. Um, but yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, I definitely agree. I love like, that you mixed it up a little bit. I think that the endurance series were like, really popular, I think. Uh, among the drivers uh, when they happened uh, in the previous season so and also to get double points for them it really mixed it up I guess and I mean it has been really my favorite season really so far to commentate on so yeah thanks for organizing all the stuff I guess a huge shout out really to you to Nicholas Domino for all the work on the graphics on the skins on the mods and 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 to race sim studio is that correct for the mod itself for the formula Four? yeah race, race sim studio for the mod itself yeah yeah and then again like you said uh domino for for all the skins and all the graphics that we use for the stream uh for the help with the coordinator stuff the same with colin uh, has been been really great mm -hmm. um you and 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 phil uh our trusted pace car <laughs> And he actually been racing in, in, in a couple of the races. So. Yes, he's done great. He's done great sometimes. Yeah, he's actually, he's quite, he's actually quite fast when you consider he's a pad user. Yeah. I mean, yeah, he's insane on eye racing as well. So yeah, he's like, I don't know how he does it like in these games with the pad. It's just ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It's, it's crazy. <laughs> yeah, it's been, it's, been, it's, been, it's been a good season. 
always something we can improve and always something we can we can we can change but overall i think it's been i think it's been the best season yet in my yeah. opinion yeah i definitely agree on that one and i can't wait what you come up next really with what crazy ideas to change the format and new cars and everything like that it really is a blast to see this uh, league develop and I hope hopefully we can uh, continue also covering this uh, uh, this this league in the future so um, yeah. yeah thanks yeah. for that and good luck for the final race next week and maybe Thank we'll you. see us uh, soon again yeah let's well, hope and uh, good luck in the army uh, thanks for that uh, don't remind me anyway. don't uh, don't go all Rambo no 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 I won't I won't, I won't. <laughs> Well, I will be fine. Cool. All right. On that behalf, thanks everyone as well to the viewers for watching uh, this stream here tonight. Uh, sorry that uh, maybe it has been a little bit scrappy, but I had a single. Uh, had uh, we had only had one commentator here today, so you had to deal with me. I not uh, I didn't have Phil here to help me out. But uh, yeah, thanks again for all the people who watched uh, all of the season, all the drivers, all the coordinators, as we said before, and we will see you hopefully soon for more racing on the uh, AOR Seto Cosetics. Bye bye.